here. Okay. Um, okay. We have um, the agenda that is to be approved. Are there any questions regarding the agenda that Joanne had shared? No. Mr. Greenwood, I haven't read the agenda. I'm going to be real uh, honest. I'll assume then. When you, I tell, I'm assuming that you like I it. I came to the school board. Listen, I came to the school board meeting the other night and then drug myself home, went to bed, and I have been in bed for days. Oh, my goodness. Because I'm not feeling well. So, ah. um, all right. So, I didn't even read it. So, go ahead and tell me what it says. Uh, so we we'll have. Just go through it. We, you could just go. We'll through just it. go right through it. Yeah, I think the. Right. Yep. Yeah, but it looks yeah, looks pretty approval, standard, Mary Alice. Approval of the <laughs> minutes. Did anyone have a chance to review the? Minutes? I did look at the meeting uh, minutes from June. From June it seemed, you know, okay. Seemed right to me. But we get approval of the minutes. I'll have to ask you, Mrs. Brancato, can you do that? Uh, I can't because I didn't read them. Okay. I'm sorry. We'll, 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 no, we can do that we'll, next time. We'll hold them next time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, sure. Yep. Um, sorry, my uh, computer. That's okay. Uh, froze there for a second. Okay. Agreement, my old my old age is, is like over over the top. I can only hear out of one ear again. We got that going oh, on. Oh no! <laughs> oh goodness! I got you, girl. I got you on the good ear. Okay, <laughs> so we'll, we're going to move to our discussion guide um, that Jim had put together. You know, we're, we, the Clinger parking lot paving is completed. That seems to have been Great. excellent. They replaced the lamp post yeah. uh, that they Great. knocked down. Um, right. The facilities team, I think, did a great job in preparing the schools for opening. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. We, we made some enhancements to some classrooms. We added uh, a, a, a uh, walled out a, a room <coughs> to uh, provide additional uh, learning opportunities at Davis in. Uh, so I think all of that is is moving along very nicely. Right. Um, we have uh, bids for a outfield fence to replace the outfield fence um, at the high school, and we've received bids uh, to add an ADA ramp at Davis, um, okay. where where the handicapped buses uh, drop off students. Um, in need of, of the ramp is down by the circle, if you're familiar with Davis. Mm -hmm. and, Correct. and the ramp is actually up closer to the middle of the okay. bus drop off. That makes so sense. we're sort Correct. of extending that sidewalk down and then to that loop, and we're going to have an access point. Um, so these are two separate bids, correct? Yep, they are. Okay. okay. Uh, so, the bid, so the bid for the fence, um, how many bids did we get? We got. I received three, two were valid, one came back less than 50%. The other two were within uh, 100 and some dollars of each other. The third one, and I reached out two times, and he never responded. So I call, I, I guess it's not a... company, just off the top of your head? Uh, Toro Fence. That's the low bid? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't a complete bid. They didn't capture the bid correctly. They didn't they didn't That's okay. You yeah. don't gotta go any further because he's the most expensive fence fence guy in the area. Nice. So we're good. Okay. Um, Jim Jim is working on uh, the tennis courts as we talked about. No, no, uh, who are the other bids? It was uh, county line fence and five county fence. And county line is the cheapest, correct? Now a five county fence came in about a hundred and wow. some dollars cheaper. Interesting. Good that. Oh. Good change okay. up. I'm good with yeah. I'm good with I'm good with either one of them. It's right. hundred dollars. You do keeps, what you gotta do. Keeps them honest. Right? Yeah, sure. Good work. Okay. So it's the process in order. Uh, uh, we're working on the tennis courts. Um, that's something we want to try to get taken care of as soon as we can. Uh, I think that would protect what is left of the tennis courts. Uh, from additional rain, freezing, thawing. Um, so we're going to be pushing through, I think, uh, preparing to send out an RFP for that. Is that right, Jim? Yeah, I'm hoping to send out RFP next week to, uh, to redo you know, the entire tennis court? To repair them, repair all the cracks correctly, dig them out, fill them, repair them, and re-epoxy the top. Um, I, if you remember back in June, I got an estimate from a guy for around one hundred and five, one hundred and eight thousand dollars to do that, and he guaranteed him okay. for a five-year period. Yep. Okay. So okay. I'm hoping to send out that RFP and have multiple companies come back and be in the same range. Obviously. Yep. 
So, yes. so because it's over a hundred thousand, do we have to have a responsible contractor? Is that it? Um, we would we. You need a. I think the no. The responsible contractor is under three hundred thousand. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Thank you. Mr. Greenwood. No. Nope. No worries. Okay, so good. that that would be good. Those are really in in troubled shape, and and I think you know, the community yeah. does use them yeah. uh, from time to time, and and certainly our tennis Tony, team. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad we're working on it. I am too. We're good. Keep pushing for it. Yeah, um, push it go. Other other projects that we are working on include the FCS classroom. Uh, again, that, yep. that makes the second makes the list again, uh, and I think we'll come up. I think with Jim's uh, direction and leadership, we'll come up with a, a solid plan to address uh, those rooms both at Klinger and at Log College. Um, so, is that coming on the next board meeting, or are we going to hold that off? Yeah. Nope, we, we're just we're just what we're planning right now. So we don't okay, we don't great. have a, a finalized plan uh, yet. Uh, but Jim has okay, been working great. on them with with our facilities team, and uh, trying to split the work uh, between having someone come in and do a piece, and then having our team, uh, electrician wise, you know, they could do our side, mm -hmm. and that could save us uh, a good chunk of money. So okay. I think that's okay. where we're at. Uh, we will be looking to uh, issue an RFP um, in in probably the the winter. Uh, early winter, springish time for the Log College uh, parking uh, refurbishment. These sort of okay. lag a year. They're done in the summer, so it actually comes out of the next year's budget. Um, right. But we do, as we've done in the past previous two years, need to get our hands around that uh, and get that that plan uh, squared away. So the, the log okay. is is the next on our list. And they would they would do the core sampling and all that stuff. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. Got yep. Same as last. How about the um, How about the teachers' parking lot at Tenant? Um, we can we depending on I mean we can certainly include that as an alternative and and that, do them both. Uh, or we can carry that forward into the next year. I know you, you've. I think log, in general, is probably the next worst on the on the on the, right. on the worst chart, but followed very closely by the teacher lot. Yeah, and I know you've referenced in in, in 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 a good suggestion is that that while the William Tennant lot gets a lot of uh, a lot of traffic going to games and and other things, right? Correct. So that that lot Correct. is is a critical lot for yeah. us. So absolutely. Um, so could we, can, we could we send out an RFP for both of them together and a separate one for just log and see which way we can go? Uh, I think I think we'd say we could right, but I think the order would be we would send one out with an alternate to add the teacher lot to it. So mm -hmm. a okay, single that's RFP yep. that says we're going to do that's log, right. and similar to what we did with, uh, two years ago with the parking with transportation. Right, transportation okay. was an alternate to okay. uh, to the original um, proposal. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Okay. Uh, yep. Jim is also has on his list. He's working to uh, looking at uh, having roof assessments as we get into sort of the 12, 13 year window. Uh, we want to make our, sure. Um, What's what was that? the guarantee on those roofs? What was that? What? How many years was the guarantee on those roofs? Uh, we, we don't know. I would imagine that it's at least 15 years, right, or 20 years, right? It's got to have a... At least 20, yep. Yep, a decent so warranty, flat, but we'll, Jim will look into that. Roofs, correct. What's that? They're flat roofs, correct? Yes. Yes, most of our roofs are all flat. Right, and, and, right. and we're doing that in combination uh, as Jim is also evaluating solar, uh, solar opportunities uh, District-wide, um, so that part of the is, roof assessment is is making sure the roof could uh, could could take it. that. Right. Yeah. So isn't there isn't there a federal grant for some solar? Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, different things out there, and the one I'm really interested in is there's a there's companies that install and own the solar project. It's zero money out of pocket. Um, they own an install and maintain for a 25 year period all of the solar arrays and they guarantee an 85 percent return so for some reason 
the sun didn't shine for three months, we still get 85% of the projected money that we're supposed to save. And what, what benefits them is they're the ones that take all the green credits and all the grants and it, uh, okay. gotcha, it gotcha, offsets gotcha, gotcha. the cost of the project. And then gotcha. they give us a reduced rate on our electricity and they get a portion of that money also. So it pays for them so to get, do it. So they get a portion of the profit from the solar production? Yes. Okay. But we benefit but, by getting a reduced rate on our, our uh, electricity and a projection right now based on what our usage is what our fixed rate is, I believe over 25 years was almost $13 million savings. Wow, that's okay. great. Okay, okay. I just know that uh, a lot, I, I know it's different for homeowners. A yeah. lot of the homes in Warminster are now getting solar panels and they're not paying anything for their, their electric. They're actually getting a check back from the yeah. profit. Um, so, and I know they're getting it done for free, so I guess it's one of those programs. Yeah. Um, I, I live with a roofer who does not want solar panels on his roof. Um, but um, twenty, if we could check the warranty, I absolutely look into the solar thing. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, but look into the warranty on the flat roofs because normally yep. um, with a commercial roof, you have to have it uh, maintained to the roof. This is just normally. I'm not saying it's just. If anybody has re done any repairs to the roof, your warranty is null and void unless it's the original company. Gotcha. So that might be something you could look into. Yep. But definitely look for the solar. I think that's a great idea. All right. Um, see how agreeable I can be, Mr. Greenland? What's that? I said, see how agreeable I can be. Very agreeable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm exhausted. That helps, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, so okay, go on. Let's go to the, the next, the one. next slide just again looks at the, the capital plan and the capital project and we'll try to in include more of that in our planning as we go forward so we can track that. Um, the, okay. last, the last thing we have on the agenda are items to, present, to be presented for board approval at our committee okay. of the whole meeting. Um, okay. The first of those is approving the addition of the ADA accessible walkway. Uh, by Philadelphia Concrete and Masonry um, in the drop-off. what is the price on that? That is $12,250. Okay. Okay. Uh, the second is a facility use exception for a 35% reduction in fees for the Warminster Symphony Orchestra. So that has come back. You know, that's an annual request. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the symphony um, absolutely put it on the agenda. Yep. I am going to make a motion to give it to him for free. I'm right. just so giving you, you a can you can make that motion. Mm -hmm. I just sure. uh, what what was done last year was the, the exception. A, the board uh, revised the motion uh, to increase the exception from 35 percent to 56 and a half percent, and make Correct. it a, and make it a fixed fee at two thousand um, dollars. Correct. The, Correct. The, I remember that. Yep. So, so this this year, the actual um, labor so, cost, just so we know, right? The actual labor cost, just people, mm -hmm. uh, was three thousand three hundred and seventy nine dollars, right? Sure. So they they didn't pay for the rent of the facility, and this is actual labor out the door, uh, for sure. three thousand three hundred and seventy nine dollars. Um, so we lost you know fourteen hundred dollars yeah. there, sure. uh, as well as any cost of supplies. Um, if the total, if we would have left it as what as it has been, um, the charge would have been three thousand nine hundred eighty-one dollars, sure. and that would certainly have covered the labor and and the supplies. Gotcha. Sure. Uh, so just as as to to share, you know, the the costs sure. are always estimates, as Joanne always reminds us. Um, sure. We anticipated forty-six hours. The actual hours spent were sixty-one point two five hours. Um, to cover that, and we don't include in that hours on Fridays when they're doing rehearsals, when our staff is already in the building. So this is when staff Correct. comes back into the building, um, typically at an overtime rate, uh, and that along with uh, the Peasers uh, tax, if you will, as well as payroll taxes, 
that pushes that rate up uh, above fifty six dollars an hour. Okay. Um, so to, uh, some numbers to keep in mind. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, we have an award, uh, the William Tennant Baseball Field, as Jim had talked about, the outfield fence replacement to five county fencing at a cost right. nine, not to exceed $19,790. How, um, how many feet of fencing are we getting? It is 630 some feet, 630 feet. 630 feet. Yep. And how tall is the fence? It's an eight foot fence. An eight foot fence. And that includes that includes that the installation of a brand new bottom rail, which does not exist. And it also uh, includes the leveling and resecuring of 17 of the posts that have leaned either inward or outward and they're you know or undermined. All new posts for that amount? Uh, they're not they're gonna resecure the ones that are there if possible. If not, they're gonna give us new ones. How about the other company? Were they gonna do the same? Yes. Really? And the price again, one more time. I'm sorry. Nineteen thousand seven seven ninety. Nineteen seven ninety? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that was for six hundred and twenty feet? Yeah, give or take. 630 feet. 630. Excuse me? 630. 630. Okay. And that was for an eight-foot fence with a top and bottom rail. Right. So the ra the bottom rail doesn't exist today, which is part of the right. problem. And that was reused any usable um, post. Correct. Okay. 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 I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're, um, and I, I mean, it, it probably can't be helped. But I'm wondering if they're jacking that, all of them jacking it up a little because it's not a resident. I don't know. I don't know. It could yeah. be. Could so be. I have, I have one, two, I, well, mine's half of that. Um, mine's 300 feet, uh, up the perimeter of my backyard at six feet with the top and bottom rail. And I paid 6300 Now, that mm -hmm. was two years ago, so maybe the price went up a little bit. I'm just comparing. Yep. Um, it's all, but that's fine. It's also a that's different fine. gauge yeah, fencing. Be a the, me? The, it's also a different gauge fencing. The black vinyl that they're using is a heavier gauge than a residential, so it's it's more material, and it and people can run into and it won't bend, or you know things can you know all that stuff. It's safer for the baseball field, and it's sure, just sure. So it's, it's a coated gauge. it's a coated fence. Yeah, and it's heavier gauge, sure. so it won't take damage. Sure. Yep. Okay. It's a commercial. It's a commercial gauge. Yep. And I would imagine we'd we'd have to we'd have we would look to put a cap on it of some sort, right? Like an outfield fence would. It has one already, yeah, and we're yeah. just going to transfer it over here. Oh, okay. The cap is there. The yellow not, cap kind of yep, thing. Yep. yep. Okay. That we plastic. can do that in house if okay. some of it's yep. damaged. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, and this is the same fence I reported before when I took pictures. Yep. It is. Yes. It is. Yep. And yep. that's where it okay. was curling underneath. Yeah. Um, if you recall, yeah. uh, those were the pictures and, and by installing, including the bottom rail, I think is the, the key to making that not happen. Um, Correct. so I think we're, Correct. uh, that's in good and shape. The commercial, the commercial gauge is awesome. I have that at my house because I have three very large dogs <laughs> with, with a neighbor next door who their dog is dog aggressive. So I do have that. Okay. Um, and it does not bend. Excellent. It's awesome. Um, um, okay, so we're good. The we're last, the good. last on our list to to bring to the to the board is awarding a district wide security system monitoring contract uh, uh, with Access Security Group, not to exceed ten thousand one hundred and forty dollars. It's a rate similar to what we would have paid last year, what we paid last year, and Access provides uh, the monitoring for all of our buildings uh, across the district. Um, and they have been, you know, cameras and all of that uh, for for several and years. And how much more? How much more is it this year than last year? I think they're about the same. Yeah. Okay. 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 Great. Okay. Well, sounds good yep. to me. Um, are yep. there any 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 questions? No, sir. Thank you, <laughs> Mrs. Brancato. <laughs> Mr. Greenwood, I'm lucky I can tell you how to spell my name right now. Um. <laughs> um it was very beneficial to a quick meeting. See that? Yeah, that's um, great. 
um, I really didn't have, I don't really think I had uh, any questions about it to put, you know, anything forward. The things you put, I think, are necessary, um, whether we like it or not, um, especially the, the classrooms for, um, you know, where they have the bed that we can make. And, uh, uh, um, and I think that's a big thing. Like, that's all a really big thing now. Oh, it's because huge. They, the kids, the kids take those every year, Mary Alice, and they're they, yes, and F like, FCS one and two, and they're they're the kids really get a lot out of them. So, and I think if we had an up to date classroom, they could do much more with it because Absolutely. there's a lot of kids that take that class maybe in middle school, and then they go on to host, you know, hotel management, hospitality, um, chef. Nobody's. I don't know a lot of stay at home moms anymore because nobody can afford to be that. So we don't need to learn how to make a bed. Um, uh, was a lesson learn. taught by my mom before, back in the old days. <laughs> that was a lesson taught my, my mom taught me, square the corner before you, you leave. Like I'm going right? back to boot camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where you come back to I bed, took, come for breakfast, right? I'll feed you, but you better make that bed. <laughs> I, took, I took that class in high school where we had to learn all that stuff. And I took it because it was an easy class and you had to take one or the other. And um, we had to carry an egg around for a week to prove we could be good mothers and not kill our, our babies. Yeah. That's I just brought up the egg happen. project at home this week. I was uh, Somebody on Facebook popped up who was my, my egg partner wife during that <laughs> thing in high school. So. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I went to a Catholic school where the boys were separated from the girls. So yeah, see, that was that was partner. we were we were Catholic school too, Mary Alice. But it, but my wife was like, really, you had you you could have a partner? She's like, we had to do it ourselves. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, had we did too. <laughs> and I can tell you that my my egg died within the first three days <laughs> because I dropped it. Um, um, that was a funny class because we she was a wonderful woman. You know, she told us how to put our hair up in a bun, be good little wife. My husband. If you could see my hair right now, you would know I failed that part. <laughs> um, um, I had to learn buns through ballet. I had to be able to put those competently into Emily's hair. So. <laughs> no, I'm sure you did. I'm talking about, you know, like you're supposed to wake up dressed with all your, all your makeup Oof. and look cute when your husband gets up at 5 a.m. for work. <laughs> um, I get up at 4 because, only because the dogs wake up because they hear him and they want to be fed. Um, the hair is lacking. <laughs> um, is there anything else, Mr. Greenwood? Uh, that is that is it for the agenda item. So I Rick, appreciate you I really, uh, taking really the time. Like, when you find out the information for the solar panels, mm -hmm. I am absolutely thousand percent interested in that. Yeah. I'd like to hear. That sounds good. I don't, um, you it's know, a, more information. I don't right. want to hear every nitty gritty, mm -hmm. um, but I think that's a great idea. Those are fairly complex deals right yeah. well, mm -hmm. that'll take some time to put together but we're glad you know we we had looked into it a couple years ago uh, alex had ventured into it uh at that point we couldn't find someone who could make the math work because the district yeah. has a fairly low utility rate um right comparable right to a residential rate um, so you weren't getting that that difference uh that delta between between what the the paid rate is and what the solar rate could be um, but um, we're excited to continue yeah. that investigation. So we appreciate Jim's work on that. So, all so of these. Now, if, all, if you if you know this, you know it. If you don't, maybe you could find out. So if they put solar panels on all of the roofs, which is a great idea, um, do they redo the roof, the hot roof underneath first? So that's and why. Yep. That's exactly why I want to do a roof assessment. Okay. I wouldn't okay. want to stick anything on a roof that's going to fail in five years. Yeah. If we have to redo the roof. Yeah, I would think they're going to be need to be redone. And the other question I would like you to ask them is when they install the solar panels, if their solar panel installation, because um, it does happen sometimes, causes a leak because you got now you got another hole in the roof from the installation, um, who covers that? Good question. Yep. You certainly have another um, roof penetration, so. Sure. Um, right, right. Yep. And I, I mean, would I'm like. Not even to put, I'm not even allowed to put lights on the top of my roof. 
<laughs> that would be another um, penetration in our roof. And yep. I have a dimensional roof like everybody else. And um, that this is the this is the one area I have knowledge about is roof because I used to own a construction company centuries ago when my father died. And uh, and I you know I'm married to the roofer. That doesn't mean I know everything. I'm not saying that at all. Um, I think this is a great idea. Whoever thought of it, thank you, because I do think that it will be beneficial, no matter what. If we're making a, if we're saving money and making a profit off it, it sounds like a win-win to me. Agreed. I think Mr. Martin was a, a chief pusher oh, no. early on, uh, getting us thinking about it. So uh, I think, and as I said, I think we had we had run down a road. Uh, and, and we couldn't get the math to work, but I'm glad that uh, Jim kept at it uh, right. and, and, and captured, you know, took hand of the torch and, and moved, the, moved the plan forward. So and those I, are things good things. Are very much, things are very much different these days with solar, with solar installation and solar buybacks than they were eight years ago. Sure. Um, yeah. Because, if, if, I mean, if you just drive down Delmont Avenue, I'm going to tell you there's at least 30% of the homes with solar panels on those roofs. Right, right. I have a friend. I have a friend who gets to recheck every month on Nemeral um, from her solar panels, and that's why she did it. And she didn't pay a dime. That's she didn't awesome. pay a dime. Yeah, one thing um, that's happened in the last five, three to five years is the technology of the solar panels has gotten so much more efficient. You don't need, the sun doesn't need to be directly on them. It can be slightly overcast, and you still get correct. a return from solar. So correct. it's changed. That's great. Correct. Just like sunburn, right? Right. <laughs> right. And then at some point when we're further down the road, I'd love to have the company that I'm working with that's helping me, you know, through this come if you'd like and do a, a short presentation at a board meeting if you would, you know, Absolutely. Be open to that to answer any a, questions. A of the... Sure. A short presentation would yes. be awesome it's because great. to be honest with you, most of what they say to us <clears throat> is going to be gibberish because none of us are really going to understand. <laughs> um, so I, I, I wouldn't want them to waste what we're going to listen to is the cost effectiveness, yep. um, how long it's going to last, that kind of stuff. And, um, that's going to be where you get your votes from. Um, yeah. yep. if I had a vote on this today, I would, I would definitely vote yes. And I'm sure Mr. Sadowski would too. Yes, ma'am. Um, so we are going to bring all four of those things forward. If, if we get no, sure. approval for sure. that. Yeah, I think that they all make now, sense. We're not going to bring. We're not going to bring the solar panel until we have the prices. No, right? no, 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 no. The four, four items that I talked about, right? Yeah, so I think we were okay, okay with all that. Seeking them. approval to okay. do that, so yeah. if you can uh, concur. I think we were both okay on those. Right? That was yeah, the ADA and, accessible walkway, the sure. Warminster think, Symphony, the baseball sure. field, outfield fence, uh, and the sure. uh, monitoring. Yeah, yeah. I think the only one we'll have some discussion about is going to be that symphony. Thing. Yeah, that's and, right. And, um, <laughs> um, I think that's the only thing, everything else I think you're going to be, it's going to be across the board, yes. I don't okay. see anybody. Fantastic. Um, and if anybody votes no to an ADA accessible ramp, um, that, <laughs> um, that would be that would be the end of them. Not Just great. it would be. Okay. Um, all right. And now do we, have, do we have all of our schools with ramps for ADA accessible? We have ramps everywhere, right? We, we, okay. and, and we have ramps everywhere at Davis, too, right? So... Not, you know, it, it, it's sort of an oversight in, in terms of how and where the drop off is. So, you know, when, when Jim and I were looking at it, you know, you sort of Google Earth like maybe everybody does. I know the first thing I do is Google it. Right. Yep. <laughs> and Jim and I were sitting in my office and I'm like, well, there is a ramp and uh, and there, there's a cross ramp for the to the other side. But the fact is that the, the buses that are dropping off the children that need the ramp are doing so at that circle at the bottom of that parking lot. Uh, where the buses right. come in, not at the top of it where the ramp is. So I think it's a, a uh, the way the way we're organized, yep. and and they, what they've been doing is is sort of moving the kids over the grass to get to the sidewalk. So nice. extending okay. the sidewalk and the, adding the ramp is is a great great idea. So I know they'll be and excited gonna, about that. And, and we're going to try and do that as soon as possible, correct? If it's approved. Yep. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, and I appreciate you. Call me on the phone. Um, I will uh, get myself together over the weekend. And uh, um, I think I just lost track of time and what was going on because I got this phone call this morning. Sure. Nope. I, well, uh, no, I, I hope, hope I hope you're feeling better after the weekend. 
Yep. It's a very good and, uh, and our um, condolences to your friend. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thank okay. you very much. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. You have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.